Hi guys, how are you? I am Rosalyn and I am back with a new video. I already miss filming. I know it's been only a few days but I miss being in front of the camera and today I want to talk about guys. I feel pretty confident in being able to read a guy any matter of seconds, minutes. It doesn't matter if he's in the same city as you or far away. A guy that really likes you will always send you messages. It's all about the actions that he does for you. So so let me know if that's a video that you would be interested in seeing from me about more dating about guys maybe I can help you with that or let me know if you want to see more beauty videos so anything that you want to see from me just let me know and today I want to talk about my dating experience back in high school so I remember when I used to be in elementary school when I was such a little girl I remember liking this guy he was the new guy in school and Everyone talked about him because he was from Brazil. I think he barely, like he spoke English and Spanish, but he was still learning. And he was not in the same class as I was. We were separated into two different classrooms. So he was in the different classroom. And every time I saw him, I knew I had a crush on him. He was one of my first crushes. And this was in fifth grade. Actually, I remember being in fourth grade. And I used to like a guy back then. It was the mushroom haircut for little boys. That was like the trend for little boys. And then I never saw the Brazilian guy again. I guess he moved back to Brazil. That's the last thing I heard. Then in elementary school, I remember being in 6th grade in science class and liking this boy, everyone would call him Mandy but his real name was Armando. I thought he was so cute, again he had the mushroom haircut, he had like tan skin and dirty blonde hair and I thought he was so cute. I don't know if he ever knew that I liked him, I don't think he did. My friends knew about him. So I don't know if he ever got to know and even if he did, he, he didn't show any interest in me. And then I remember liking another guy and again, he was dirty blonde. I used to have a thing for blonde guys back then and again, he had like green eyes and dirty blonde hair and this time I did let him know. I wrote a poem to him with the help of my friends. And I gave him that letter. Well, actually, my friend did. I remember I was staring at him. It was during lunchtime cafeteria, and he was just smiling, but he never did anything, so he was never interested in me. So, entering high school, for the first two years, I didn't like anyone. Like, I, there wasn't any guy that caught my attention. And then, in my junior year, I remember, I'll never forget this day, it was social studies class. And the first day of school, there was this guy sitting in one of the front tables. And my first impression of him was, oh my gosh, he's so cute. I remember looking at him and I liked him. And I liked him for many, many weeks. And then with time, I, I would keep seeing him in class, but I, I never thought of him much after that. And I got over him. Then I remember like in December, one of my classmates tells me, you know that guy has a crush on you and that was the same guy that I liked. At this time in my life, I've never had a guy like me back. I remember thinking, no, that can't be right. Like I didn't believe her or I thought she was just joking around with me. And I said, are you sure? And she told me, yeah, he likes you. And again, I didn't believe it and I left it at that like for a few days. Like I was so... And disbelieve like I I didn't want to believe he liked me I guess she she noticed that I didn't do anything like <laughs> like he said I didn't want to believe it so what I did one day I'm like I'm gonna see if he likes me so I was just doing classwork and I decided to look back and sure enough he was looking at me I'm like okay that could have been coincidence but then you know that feeling like when you know someone is looking at you so I kept glancing back to see if he was looking at me and sure enough he would be looking at me and I'm like okay so maybe she is right and I was so shy one day she was um, sitting beside him by this time um, he was already sitting always on the back 
by the corner. Um, this day, she was sitting beside him and I decided to go over and my friends were there too. And that's how I started talking to him. I was expecting something like, I like you. I don't know, like... <laughs> Because I wanted to be sure that he really liked me, like I didn't want to feel like I was making a fool of myself since I had never had a guy like me back. I'm like, okay, this is the guy that I used to have a crush on at the beginning of the school year. I stopped liking him and now he likes me and I was like, okay, I'll get to know him. And from there, we started talking more and more. I was the type of girl that I would always arrive at school like 5 minutes before the bell rang and because I wanted to get to know him more, I would ask my parents, sometimes it was my mom or sometimes my dad, to drop me off 30 minutes before school started so I was hoping by this time like I hadn't told anyone like I'm getting to know this guy because I usually keep it a secret when I'm getting to know a guy but when it comes official like I, I let the world know. So at this time, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I hope my parents don't find out why I want to get early to school. So he would already be waiting for me in the back area of the school. There was like a big yard for sports and they had benches, so he would wait for me there. And that's the only time that I had to get to know him. And we never had any other classes together. And after school my parents would pick me up so I, I didn't have any other time other than in the morning or we would call each other and talk to each other and so by then I was so happy I'm like oh my gosh I'm getting to know this guy that I had a crush on and he likes me and at this point everything is going well later on during the school year we had what they call the early release day which we are able to leave school like three hours before like around noon time i was so happy because he told me you know we can hang out after school and i was the happiest girl because usually when we had early release days i would just go straight home and i would see other kids spending time with their friends and or they would go eat together and me i was the type of girl that i was just i was always the good girl i never skipped school from school i just headed back home and i thought oh my gosh i actually have someone to spend time with and i was so happy thinking oh my gosh i finally have someone to spend time with and hang out after school with and at the same time i felt terrible I'm like, oh my gosh, my parents are gonna find out. <laughs> and I thought I should be going straight home. I was always like I said, I was I was always the the good girl, so I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I shouldn't be going to his apartment. But he actually wanted to go with him because he wanted me to meet his mom. I thought that was so sweet. And at the same time, I was so so scared to go somewhere else apart from just going straight home and so I remember the first time um, we got to his apartment and his mom was there and his aunt and I was so happy I was nervous and I remember telling him what are they gonna think because I'm thinking here I am I am so young we are teenagers and this is the first time that like I'm getting to know someone like to date but it was never to the point that I could have said he's my boyfriend boyfriend it was always during the stages of like getting to know each other and so i remember um entering his apartment and his family was there and then his mom she would work from home and she would do all these beauty related things like um i think she did hair coloring haircuts and she did bikini wax and when we got there she had a customer in the living room that was going to get brazilian wax so we had to go to his bedroom and wait there and so it was great and then he wanted me when it was time for me to go home he wanted to drop me off at my apartment and again me being the good girl I'm like no you don't have to because again i was scared what if he goes drop me off and then my parents are gonna see him or the neighbors are gonna see me and they're gonna tell my parents and then my parents are going to find out i'm hanging out with this guy i said you don't have to you can just drop me off at the bus stop and he would be there with me until the bus arrived and he was so sweet doing little things like that so up to this point everything was fine like he he was being such a good guy the thing is, 
as the weeks passed by, we hanged out more and then we had more early release days and then we would head to his apartment and sometimes his family was there and sometimes it was just the two of us. And then almost like right from the beginning, he wanted to do things that I was not comfortable with at the time and I would tell him like, no, I'm not ready for this and I felt like he was not being understanding and he kept pushing it and, and the more I told him like no I don't feel comfortable doing this the more he wanted to do it I was so confused because here's this guy that he's given me all the good signs that he really likes me I mean one he wanted me to meet his family that's a great sign when a guy wants you to meet his family that's because he really likes you um two when they see future of you together, that's another great sign. He would talk to me about moving together right after we finished high school. He would tell me that he had an uncle living in Utah and that he could give us a bedroom while we finished school and we were. So he saw a future of us together, like he saw himself after high school with me. Then I remember for Valentine's, he didn't have a lot of money, like he did money here and there repairing computers um there were times that he wanted to give me like more and i would tell him don't worry about it just spending time with you that's all i want and then on valentine's day he surprised me with a box of chocolates and a movie and i thought that was so sweet of him and that was the first time that i had received something from someone on valentine's day and i thought that is so sweet but then being in school sometimes we would be in the hallway spending time together and he would put his hand inside my pan to touch my back and i would tell him to stop like i didn't feel comfortable doing that especially being around a lot of other kids and he kept doing it and doing it and every time i said don't do it i i don't like it and girls it's okay if a guy wants to touch you as long as you let them know that it's okay as long as you are in a relationship and and it's in a place that it's just the two of us where no other people are going to be watching you but he kept doing it and this one time i remember being in the hallway and this girl she kept glancing back like oh my gosh but like what are they doing and that was the time that I told him like stop like don't do it anymore and that's when I started to hang out less and less with him so it was very confusing and I thought I was sad at the same time like right after that I didn't go to his apartment anymore because I feel like if I did he was just gonna ask me again to do things that I didn't want to do right after that um I wasn't straightforward it's like we broke up but not officially um we broke up by just talking less and less like he would look for me and i didn't tell him what was going on i guess he thought we were so young so i guess he thought because i'm dating her like we're gonna get into this right away he was not understanding like he was sweet like he did all these things he would send me text messages he would want to call me and that's another great sign if they want to call you and hear you talk on the phone it's because they miss you so that's another great sign and here he is sending me all these good messages and here he is is not understanding what I feel comfortable doing and what I don't want to do and then we had summer vacation and it was our senior year and he even gave me a letter saying that he was heartbroken that we didn't get to know each other more I really didn't want to break up with him so now looking back uh, we both made mistakes we were young this was my first experience dating someone if you're dating a girl you always have to make them feel comfortable from the beginning and not rush into things and then me the mistake that I made I was never straightforward I never let him know why I broke up with him even my friends they were like why did you break up with him he's such a great guy he's so cute why did he do that and I really didn't want to tell them why I broke up with him and even my mom would tell me he is such a great guy that like he's a guy that that is worth it but again I was not being open about it and I didn't want to tell anyone like what was really going on and 
even for senior year, we went together to take the picture for the yearbook that we have to take at the beginning of the school. And he was nicely dressed in a tuxedo and he looked super cute. And by that time, I felt awkward that we were there together. Nowadays, I guess he always thought that I just wanted to break up with him just because I wanted to without really telling him why, even my friends and my family. But yeah, that was my first high school dating experience. Ever since then, I have learned so, so much. And girls, I just want to tell you that if you have a guy tell you that he wants to get into things that you do not feel comfortable doing, don't let them. Always say no and let them know the why. And if you are, just make sure you use protection. It's really important for STDs and to prevent pregnancies. But yeah, let me know if you want to hear more about my dating stories or if you want me to do a video about how to know if a guy really likes you, no matter where he is, they will send you signs no matter what. In the first few minutes, I can know right away if they like you, if they're really interested in you. It's all about how they express themselves. It's all about body language. Language. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have liked this video don't forget to like it that lets me know that you have liked this video and if you want to see more videos from me whether it's like dating or beauty don't forget to subscribe and you can comment or share this video thank you and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye and have a great day Mwah. Hey guys, how are you? This is another haul video that I have for you guys and this time it's from